and selling country music artist Clay Walker has had an impressive career spanning nearly 25 years. But more than 20 years ago, he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Since then, he has overcome the obstacles MS set before him. Clay joins us now to thank all caregivers and to share an update on his life, music, career, and family. Hey there, Clay. Good morning, Fiona. Thank you for having me on today. It's good to be in San Antonio. Yeah, speaking of family, congratulations. You and your wife Jessica just welcomed a fourth, a baby boy named Ezra. Ezra Steven, two weeks ago, he's, he's precious. He woke me up at 3 a.m. this morning, so I've, I've, I feel like I've already got half a day's work done. I was gonna say, <laughs> you probably need some extra sleep at this point whenever you get a chance. <laughs> I'm okay with it, you know, family's, family's everything. Uh, of course, you know that. I, and, you know, I, that's why I try to stay healthy. That's why I, I do everything I can to, you know, uh, keep myself upright, staying on tour, staying healthy, and fighting multiple sclerosis, obviously. Back when you got that diagnosis, did you ever think you would have the success you have had and the life you have today? No, Fiona, when I was uh, first diagnosed, you know, I was, I was very broken. I mean, I was just, you know, in my early 20s and uh, felt like, you know, it was the end of the world, uh, you know, but the difference between then and today is that I have, you know, a lot more education and I've learned more about MS than I ever planned on learning. But I can tell you this, I'm very healthy and I, uh, I have not had a relapse in 19 straight years, which is, you know, significant. You know, I'm, I'm what you would call a miracle. But I'm very, I'm very happy. Um, I, I live a fulfilled life. You know, I have a great career still. I have a great family. Uh, we'll be doing a, a hundred uh, city tour coming up starting in January. And, uh, you know, that's been because I have, I have been relapse free and have been, have been doing great. But the education, that process is very important for anybody living with MS. And, you know, your caregivers, uh, which this is National Caregivers Month. My wife, Jessica, um, is at home with our child, obviously. And, and she's been a significant uh, support and help for me. And, you know, she's my rock. But the, the education is important. You need to find a neurologist if you have MS, uh, a great MS specialist. You know, my relationships and my partnership with Teva and my neurologist have taught me so much. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be here today um, if it wasn't for that. When I was diagnosed, I was told I'd be in a wheelchair in four years and dead in eight. And you can see that that's not the case. I'm here 19 years relapse free and I plan on being here a lot longer. I want to do a whole lot more shows in San Antonio. I tell you, Clay, we look forward to those and your story is incredibly inspiring and gives a lot of hope to folks who are also battling MS. And I tell you, this has been such a treat for me to talk to you. Has there ever been a moment in your career where you were starstruck? Probably the only time that I ever uh, felt that was when I met Merle Haggard. You know, a lot of people, you know, who are younger don't, don't know who he is, but uh, people who are fans of, uh, of real deep country music fans uh, know exactly who he is. So that, that did it for me. I think George Strait was a, was a big fan of, of Haggard's as well. And uh, I think that reflects in a lot of his music and a lot of mine as well. And as a matter of fact, you know, our new album's coming out. I don't know if many people know this, but uh, your husband wrote one of the songs on my new album coming out next year. <laughs> so I'm, I'm double happy to be doing this interview with you. And well, I'm so thrilled to hear that. Yes, Napkin for the Number is the song, and we are so excited for that album to come out and looking forward Here's to your... There's a pen for the napkin, napkin for the number, number for the call, girl, I don't want to wonder what I'd be missing on. If you kept walking on, <laughs> I just had to do it. <laughs> I love it, and I love the story that, that that is how you and your wife met. It is. That's exactly how we met, and you know she wasn't she she wasn't too keen on dating a singer. I gotta tell you, <laughs> but uh, a lot of similarities. She, uh, okay. She said yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, there you go. Oh, Clay, it has been such a joy to talk to you. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for sharing your story and for all you have done to help fight MS. Well, thank you, and I hope that being able to share my story today will encourage some of the people out there who have MS to, to let this be a better day. You know, let tomorrow be a better day, too. Just wake up and, uh, and, and say to yourself, this is going to be a better day than yesterday, and, and do everything you can to make that happen.
Clay Walker, thank you so much.